Hello everybody, it's your boy Jihad Muhammad from Bang the Drum and I am here at O'Meara in London for the Making Moves Party. Well, I met Matt um, when he was with Papa Records and then he went over to Tribe Records and now he's, you know, of course, with Making Moves and uh, they booked me and I played with James E and uh, we just forged a great friendship, man. Me and James E are like... That's my, my UK brother from another, you know, so, um, you know, it's been a cool relationship. I've been able to put, you know, records out on their label, uh, we've been able to do business together, parties and stuff in Miami, of course, out here, uh, and in New Jersey, actually, so, um, looking forward to continuing, you know, our friendship and relationship. London, to me, um, is a very soulful scene. Uh, very diverse musical culture. Uh, I feel like I can be as free as I want to be when I come here to play. Um, so I do enjoy that. Nina was dope. I had a really good time with Nina. Um, I had heard a song that she had did for a friend of mine some time ago. And I was like, wow, I like her voice. I want to get her on a record. So we finally hooked up and uh, the rest is history. And I just recently did something with um, Hill Street Soul, a remix I did for Hill Street Soul, and that was really, really fun. She's actually one of like one of my favorite UK artists, so I kind of want to capture her in uh, in concert at least, you know, one day if I can. But she's a very experienced singer. The remix was great. It was a great project. Before there was house music, it was R&B and what they call it, Blue-Eyed Soul, right? So Elton John was one of the uh, guys that I used to love listening to. Lou Sands, uh, Lisa Stansfield, you know, uh, Misha Paris. So, you know, Soul to Soul, of course, I gotta mention Soul to Soul. So, uh, you know, they want like a, a, a different flavor, you know, to the States, you know, in their, what, early, late 80s, early 90s. Um, real danceable R&B, so it kind of just merged right into, you know, me coming into the house scene and, you know, being able to play that sound with me. Uh, wow. Well, like everybody uh, back in New Jersey and New York, we used to listen to radio shows uh, every Friday and Saturday, and they also had midday mixes during the afternoons. One of my favorite DJs was Tony Elf. And uh, I used to listen to him relentlessly every Friday and Saturday night. Then I got hit to Timmy Registry. And so um, hearing the music on the radio and wanting to, you know, like, wow, I wonder how did they mix the two records together like that. That sounded so smooth. So my uncle bought me my first pair of turntables and a mixer. And, you know, I had like three records, you know, that's all I had back then. But I learned how to mix them, maybe around 1984, 85 maybe. I was in my first club, young, wasn't supposed to be there, but somebody let me come up and, you know, I started playing for a little while and um, that was it. ADE, my first year in Amsterdam, uh, was great. I had a really good time out there. Um, it was a bit refreshing to see the scene from a different perspective. Um, ADE is usually a electronic music festival. Um, you don't really see too many soulful house artists out there. And if you do, uh, they probably are like the bigger DJs, like Louis Vega and David Morales and those guys. So. It was good to be out there um, to see the scene from a different perspective, and uh, I, I just feel like you know, for our scene, we need to get more involved. Um, the more of a voice we have, the more moves we can make our work while we out. I don't think Soulful House will ever die. I think Soulful House is it's the root of everything that's happening now. Um, unfortunately. We're not as big as we used to be. So I think that's why I felt like it was more important for a lot of our social house 
DJs, artists who have been, you know, veterans in the scene to become involved in the conferences, you know, so that we can learn more about the business, how we can grow and move forward. Uh, they were doing that in, in Miami, uh, but I think lack of participation from our DJs and, and uh, producers and stuff kind of made us kind of like lose our stance in Miami. So with Amsterdam, I think that uh, if we get more involved, you know, we can kind of push it a little bit forward. Well, you know, the scene is, the scene is, it's changed a bit, you know, it's a little bit more electronic now, um, which is cool, you know. Um, I can get with anything, you know. I'm, you know, as a DJ, you got to be versatile. You know, you have to know what's happening in the street, and you got to know how to adapt. So for me, um, like I said, it's exciting. I like to learn new things. I like to learn new gadgets and you know, new software and stuff. So it's it was it's cool, you know. I mean, like I said, Soul House is here to stay. We just have to know how to integrate into what's happening. Now. Oh, Cherie. Yeah, we work together. I've done a few remixes for Cherie. Um, and we did an original project. Um, Addicted, right, Cherie? Yeah, Addicted, yeah. Which went off really, really well. So, um, looking forward to you know, working with Cherie more. You know, Bang the Drum happens in New Jersey every third Saturday of the month at the Cricket Club in Irvington, New Jersey. And, um,. <laughs> So we've been doing Bang the Drum, wow, for about 10 years now. So um, it's funny, me and Stan Zeff, uh, who does the tambour party, we started our parties around the same time. So we're thinking of maybe trying to do a collaboration of tambour, Bang the Drum on the uh, Tambour Tribe Cruise this year. So hopefully if that works out, that'd be good. Everybody, you know, they always say, I can't believe you're gonna be 50 years old. And I'm like, me either, you know, I don't feel 50. And, you know, 50 back in the day was like gray hair, and, you know, all that. So, you know, I think 50 is the new 40. But I have a big birthday party uh, in, in store. Uh, I do one every year. And uh, I'm trying to get one of my favorite DJs to come play for me. I can't say his name right now, but uh, I'm hoping that goes soon. Yeah, Groove Odyssey, uh, the Carissa Nicole, uh, down for you. Um, the Hill Street Soul project just came out on uh, Soul House Music with Brian Power. And uh, I do a radio show out here every Monday, House FM. My UK fans, I, I want to say I truly appreciate you. Um, every time I come, everybody's always hospitable. They tell me how much they love the music I produce and how much you know they like when I play. And I feel like I can be very open musically when I come here. So I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you.